Are you one of the millions of people suffering from IBS? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna give you five tips I recommend for everyone to get a handle on their IBS today. Guys, let's talk about poop. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru and gut microbiome expert. I'm a board certified gastroenterologist trained at the Mayo Clinic. Come see us a little bit gastro for all your IBS needs. So tip number one, know what your dietary triggers are. For a lot of my patients who have IBS, food tends to be a trigger for them. Now it's not universal and it's not everyone. It's not for all types of IBS. What we have found is that especially if you have the diarrhea subtype, meaning IBSD, foods can be a very common trigger for that. Here's what I recommend. Number one, eliminate all dairy. It doesn't matter if you feel like you're lactose intolerant or not, just get rid of dairy because for a lot of my patients, they don't realize that dairy can cause a lot of issues. Number two, eliminate all artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners act as a bomb inside your GI tract. For a lot of my patients, they don't realize that the substances that make up artificial sweeteners are substances they cannot metabolize. So you have that sweeten low, you ingest it, and all of a sudden, there's an explosion going on inside your gut. An explosion of gas, bubbles, diarrhea, and pain. And the main reason that's the case is because you cannot digest these artificial sweeteners. Now keep in mind, it's not limited to just adding in artificial sweeteners. You have to look at the ingredients for certain things you may be ingesting. Things like sugar-free gums, diet drinks, or substances like that. Look at the ingredients and make sure you can eliminate anything that has an artificial sweetener. And then number three, consider getting on what's called a low FODMAP diet. I have a lot of videos on this, but briefly, FODMAPs are certain carbohydrates that are known to cause a lot of GI issues. Bloating, diarrhea, and pain are the main ones. And with the help of a nutritionist, you can find out exactly which particular FODMAPs you may be sensitive to and eliminate those one by one to hopefully get your symptoms best controlled. And in multiple studies, a low FODMAP diet is the best diet has the most clinical evidence to help control IBS, especially if you have bloating and diarrhea. Number two, try to restore your gut microbiome. In my opinion, the gut microbiome is the root cause of why you have IBS. And when you have that change in your gut microbiome, too many bad guys, not enough good guys, that is one of the reasons why you may not be able to get your IBS fully controlled. And one way you can do that is add more prebiotics and probiotics to your diet. Once again, prebiotics are fiber. It's naturally occurring fiber that can occur in plants, vegetables, and fruits. But sometimes you can also add in supplemental fiber to help out. Now, when it comes to IBS and fiber, keep in mind that it can be a dual edged sword. So go low and go slow. But also for some IBS patients, consider adding a probiotic as well. There's evidence that probiotics can help out in a certain subset of IBS patients. However, it is hard to predict what those patients may be. And so try it, try for a couple weeks under the supervision of a healthcare provider to see if it helps out with your IBS symptoms. Number three, find ways to manage stress. It is a direct connection between the brain and the gut. So what happens here can manifest inside your GI tract. And a lot of my IBS patients have a lot of stresses going on in their life. They may have anxiety, depression, fibromyalgia, or their gut may be the reason why they're having stress. And sometimes we need different mechanisms to manage that stress. Whether it's yoga, acupuncture, getting massage, prayer, going for a walk, and sometimes even using medical therapy to help out with your stress can manage your IBS. In fact, there are a lot of patients in which we give them antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, and their gut symptoms go away. Don't be afraid to ask for help, especially if you have anxiety, depression, fibromyalgia. This may mean it may need a multifaceted approach to get your IBS symptoms controlled. Number four, sometimes some supplements can help out when it comes to IBS. Now, whenever I talk about supplements, I want to stress this is a supplement. It's an addition to all the main things that are going to help out with your GI conditions. But depending on the subtype of IBS that you have, whether it's diarrhea, constipation, or a little bit of both, there may be certain supplements you recommend. Things like peppermint oil, peppermint tea, IB guard, ginger, L-glutamine, collagen. There are a lot of supplements that are out there and it really depends on the subtype and the other conditions that we're trying to help when it comes to your IBS. And lastly, number five, actual medical therapy. What, oh my gosh, I'm gonna talk about medicine. Yes, guys, come on. Don't be fooled in thinking that all of you guys can control your IBS without medical therapy. I am sorry, that's not realistic. It's okay to use medicines, and anyone who tells you otherwise is completely doing you a disservice. 
We have a lot of effective medications when it comes to IBS, and don't be afraid to ask for this. I don't want you to be suffering for years to try to find the best natural therapy, the best diet. It may not work for you, and that's okay. This is why we have modern medicine to help out when it comes to IBS issues. We have a lot of new therapies coming out and a lot of effective therapies coming out as well. And sometimes it's hit or miss. We gotta try one thing, doesn't work, try something else, not a big deal. But these are proven, they have evidence, we know the side effects, and we know the efficacy or how effective it can be for controlling your IBS symptoms. So I need to stress, don't be afraid of medications. It's not the boogeyman that's going to try and destroy your gut or destroy your health. In fact, for a lot of my patients, this is the most effective way to control their IBS symptoms. Exercise. Exercise is literally the best thing you can do for your overall health and your gut health. It is free. It is effective. And it, there's studies after studies showing that it's probably the most important thing you can do to help control your IBS. And any form of exercise is fine, whether it's going for a walk, whether it's actually doing a HIIT workout, whether it's lifting heavy weights, ah! Whatever you can do to get your butt out of that chair, do it to help control your IBS symptoms. So these are five things I recommend to all my IBS patients to help manage your IBS symptoms today. Now keep in mind, Finding the right approach for you can take time. Patience is key, don't be frustrated. Just find a provider who can work with you to try different options to get your symptoms taken care of. And most importantly, don't be scared of medications. You guys wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're looking for somebody to help out with your IBS, come see us at Gastro, where we're experts in controlling your IBS symptoms. You guys wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks everyone.